Hello, PSR uh, students and families. Uh, thank you so much for coming here to our St. Christopher the Martyr YouTube channel. It's been seems like a long time since I've I've seen you last over at uh, over at school. I can tell you that I miss you terribly, and I know the teachers do too. Uh, we started this YouTube channel so we could have a way of keeping in touch with all our parishioners, and I thought, well, I want to use it to keep in touch with with our, our, our children over at PSR and our families. So the teachers uh, have been trying to get the word out to you all that we're going to have this uh, movies added to the channel. So you, you got on the channel here and you see we have a lot of different videos up there. And anything that will be specifically for the PSR, I will label the title of the movie for PSR or something so it will be obvious. But you can look at any one of the messages out there. Uh, we've been recording the Mass because people can't come to church on Sundays. Um, so I've been serving Mass with Father Raymond, and we record the Masses, and we upload them. And so you can see Masses we've done in the past. This past Sunday was Palm Sunday. Um, I don't have my palm with me. It's in the other room. But this is my office at my home. So I have behind me Our Lady of Fatima. I brought this statue one night to, to PSR. I think you all might remember that. She's holding a rosary in her hand. She asks us to pray the rosary for peace in the world, and we certainly can pray the rosary also to end this COVID virus. And so this is my office. So I do the videos here and I send them out to the YouTube channel to keep in touch with you all. Um, one thing, I'm going to keep coming back and I'm, I'm going to keep doing more messages. I'm sorry it's taken me a while to, to do one for the PSR. I've been very busy with a lot of things going on. But I definitely wanted to communicate with you all, let you know that I think of you all every day. Uh, I'm not kidding. Every day I think of you all. And I hope you're doing well and your parents are doing well and that all your friends and loved ones are doing well. Remember that cross that on that, that uh, poster board where we all sign every year three things, one thing we're going to pray for, uh, things we're going to give up, and things that we're going to do extra good. I hope you're still doing those things, although there were some of you that one of the things you were going to give up was watching YouTube. Well, that's okay. You can watch. Of course, if you, you've got to be watching it now. Uh, you shouldn't feel guilty. That's okay, because obviously no one knew that this COVID virus was going to come and we need social media like YouTube to be able to communicate with each other. So I will be putting messages up here to say hello, maybe a little like the enrichments. You know how we do that every night at the end of class. I'm going to try to do some of those uh, so that at least we have some communication. And then um, one thing I think you can do is you can comment. When you're looking at this, you can, do, you can go to a comment and say whether you like it or not. And I think you can comment. And I think those comments are public so that if you want to get a message out to maybe your classmate that you miss seeing or a teacher and uh, the teachers will be watching these too. And I'm sure they can comment and get a message to them. So I'm hoping that those comments are, are public and, uh, and you'll be able to communicate that way. So um, I just wanted to say, I hope you all are doing well and you're helping your parents out while you're kind of stuck at home and you can't do things maybe you'd like to be able to do. Um, this is a good time now. This is Holy Week. Like I said, last Sunday, we have the Mass. You can see it where we recorded uh, Palm Sunday Mass. Tonight, we did Holy Thursday Mass. So Holy Thursday is the beginning of the Triduum. The Triduum means three. It's three days, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. And we have special liturgies each of those three days. So today, on Holy Thursday, we just completed Mass. I was over at St. Christopher, and it's called uh, Holy Thursday Mass. This is the night that Jesus had the Last Supper. You've probably seen pictures of the Last Supper where Jesus is at this big table and he's got his 12 apostles with him. And um, he institutes the Eucharist then. And uh, he offers up the bread and wine and says, this will be my body and blood. And so when we go to Mass, that's what we receive in the Eucharist. And those of you that will be receiving First Communion, uh, you'll be able to partake in the the body and blood of Jesus, as he gave us here on, on Holy Thursday. So um, uh, that's the Mass that we had. So that Mass is being uploaded right now. So you can go there and look at it and hear the Gospels and the readings and, and see the Mass as we recorded it. Uh, we'll do Good Friday tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is the day Jesus was crucified. Now, part of Holy Thursday is after the Mass, after the, after the, uh, his, the Last Supper, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane, and that's where he prayed. And you also often see a picture of Jesus praying on this big rock, and he's looking to heaven, and he's he's sweating, and he's just so worried because he knows that they're going to come take him away, and they're going to torture him and beat him and crucify him, and he'll die. 
And so Jesus is very, I could say he's a little scared and a little worried, you know. So I think tonight of all nights, we could really understand maybe what Jesus was going through because we're all a little worried about the COVID virus and who's going to get it. And, and maybe you know someone who's sick with it. Maybe they're in the hospital and hopefully they're going to come out okay, but it's a little scary. And that's okay because Jesus was that way. He understands. That's why we can pray to Jesus because he understands what it's like to to be scared and to be worried. So this of all nights, we really we really can think about what Jesus was going through. We can say, Jesus, well, we're going through the same thing you went through. So when you prayed to your Father in heaven and he helped, helped you, help us to get through this. Because in the end, Jesus is going to, to be crucified tomorrow, Good Friday. We'll be having the, uh, we'll be doing uh, the liturgy uh, in which we, uh, we remember Jesus dying on the cross at 3 p.m. tomorrow is the time that the Bible tells us that Jesus was crucified and that he died at 3 o'clock. And so that's when we start our, our liturgy tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So the Mass is being uploaded tonight. You'll see it. And then tomorrow we'll record the Good Friday services and we'll upload that. You can go take a look at that. Um, it takes a little while for up to upload that, but you'll see it. And then the Vigil Mass, the, the, the Triduum, the three days, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, Saturday night, will be the Vigil of Easter. And so we'll have this wonderful Mass of Jesus' resurrection. And that's what Jesus really wants to tell us, is that, you know, maybe we're all in the Garden of Gethsemane right now, worried about the virus and worried about if we're going to get it, or, or maybe we won't, but someone we love might. And so, you know, Jesus was worried about not only himself dying, but he was worried about his apostles, because his apostles uh, were going to miss him terribly. And his mother, Mary, behind us, you know, she was going to be so sad to see her son die. So Jesus knows what it's like to be that way. So let's say some prayers tonight to Jesus to tell him, you know, that we're with him in the Garden of Gethsemane like it was 2,000 years ago. And we're praying to the Father to help give us strength, uh, even though maybe we're a little scared. And on this website, you'll see one of the recordings that I did was the Sorrowful Mysteries. So what you can do is, uh, if you'd like to, be wonderful, you can pray the whole rosary. My wife and I did it. Uh, I, it's the, the uh, video just has Mary here and maybe if you have a statue of Mary, you can go in front of it or something, but if not, you can go in front of the Mary here on the computer screen and we pray the sorrowful mysteries. But when we prayed each Hail Mary, my wife had a little book with her and she said a little meditation, a little word about each, each on each Hail Mary. So for example, the first decade is the sorrowful mysteries of the Sorrowful Mysteries is the Agony in the Garden, which is tonight. And so each Hail Mary, there's a little meditation about what Jesus was going through, maybe what Jesus was thinking. So that helps us when we're saying the rosary to, to bring ourselves 2,000 years ago, to go back in time and be right there next to Jesus when it was happening. So each one of the decades, maybe you can do the whole rosary, or maybe just do one decade tonight and do another tomorrow, whatever, whatever you can do. You can click on the video and hear it and just hit pause or stop. Uh, and come back later and, and play the rest of it. So that's why we did these videos. We have meditations, we have prayers. We just also have messages to let everyone know what's going on. So uh, this one here was was to you, uh, our loved ones at PSR, to tell you that I miss you, the teachers miss you, Father Raymond misses you, and we're thinking of you every day. Uh, we're probably not going to get back together again like we did before the end of the year, but uh, it might not be till next year. But Regardless, we hopefully can use this YouTube channel to do some enrichments and some prayers and keep in touch with each other. So have a very holy Thursday. And remember, tomorrow is the day Jesus died. So make sure you say some prayers, especially at three o'clock, which is the hour in which Jesus died. And then uh, come back here and look at some of the prayers and we'll have more messages for you in the future. God bless you. We miss you. See you soon. Bye bye.